Welcome to Getting Started with Elixir by Pack Publishing, Section 7, Tooling. In this section, we'll be creating an application from scratch using Elixir's amazing tool for scaffolding and running tasks, Mix. We'll explore the structure of a typical application, learn how to import and use third-party libraries, and run unit tests using EXUnit. Let's move on to the first video, Creating an Application. In this video, we'll start by introducing Elixir's tool for creating applications, Mix. Then, we'll explore the structure of a typical application and learn how we can start it interactively and access its functions through IEX. Throughout this section, we're going to be creating an application that generates random GIF files retrieved from Giphy, given a search term, and displays them on a browser. To do so, it should interface with Giphy's API to get a random GIF and download it, as well as expose an HTTP endpoint that our browser can consume in order to retrieve the image and display it. But before we get started, we need to create the layout for this application. Elixir provides a very powerful tool to scaffold applications and run common tasks on them, Mix. Mix can be used to create new applications, run tests, import dependencies, compile the application and its dependencies, run the application, and much more. We can even write our own custom tasks for Mix if we so wish, as it's very extensible. We're going to create our application. GIF generator. To do this, we run the mix new command with the application name, gif underscore generator. This will lay out the structure of our application in a new subdirectory, which we can then enter and explore. After creating the application, we should see a directory structure similar to this one. Inside the config subdirectory, we have a single config.exs file. This file is used to all application-specific configuration properties for our environment, which can be accessed by using the functions from the application module, namely application.getenv. The bulk of the application's code resides inside the libs of directory, and this is exactly where Elixir is going to look for your code files. Mix actually creates a file in there already with an empty module, having the same name as our application. Any new modules we wish to create will reside inside this directory. The test directory contains all unit tests for our application. Mix automatically creates a test helper file along with a single empty test for our application. We'll see these ones in more detail on the last video of the section. And finally, there's the mix.exs file on the root of the application's directory. The mix.exs file is the project or application descriptor and is defined as an Elixir module itself. It has a project function that contains all the project's properties, such as its name, version, Elixir version, dependencies, etc. There's also an application function that contains a list of the applications that will be automatically started when running this project. In this case, only the logger will be started. Finally, there's a depth function that's actually used by the project function, hence being private, that contains a list of dependencies that should be compiled along with this project. Since we don't have any yet, it's an empty list. To enter the application interactively and see it working, we can write iex-s mix from the command line inside the gif generator directory. This will compile any modified files inside our application and drop us inside an iex session with our application code loaded. We can test that our application code is loaded by calling it directly. Assuming this was generated with Elixir 1.4, our gif generator module should define a simple hello function. Calling it reveals that the module has been loaded and the output is correct. In this case, the function outputs the atom, world. In this section, you've learned how to create an application from scratch using Mix, Elixir's powerful scaffolding tool. You've also learned how an application is laid out and where to add application configurations, code, and project information. Finally, we've seen how we can enter an application interactively in IEX using Mix,